This is going to be a short unboxing of my uh, new purchase. It's a 6 hour 1911. So, it comes in a hard case. Inside, paperwork, manual, gun in a bag, and uh, three magazines. The gun comes in a plastic bag. Uh, empty chamber, em eh, empty chamber indicator. Orange piece right here. And there's a mag in the gun, so it comes with four mags total. So this is the uh, Sig Tac Ops 1911. It's their traditional model as opposed to their regular ones which has a uh, different milled slide. So, um, originally I was looking at the SIG's regular TAC Ops, their threaded barrel version because I want to get a suppressor, 45 suppressor, uh, sometime soon. But uh, I honestly really didn't like the uh, look of the slide as much as the traditional one, so uh, I saw SIG had a traditional line and they had a TAC op, so I decided to get that and eventually I'll get a threaded barrel for this. So um, This has SIG's Nitron finish on it. It's a really nice finish in my opinion. Uh, I went with SIG because SIG has a really good reputation. Um, I own one of their P226s, their uh, combat, and it's been a flawless gun and had a great review, so I decided to jump on it. Uh, the SIGs do come with an external extractor, so the internal ones like most traditional 1911s. This is my first 1911, by the way. So it has a skeletonized trigger. Skeletonized hammer as well. Um, does come with night sights. The gun weighs 41 ounces with a mag in it. It's a full size 1911. I just love the way it feels. This is my first 1911, so I'm really excited to take this out to the range and shoot it this weekend. So. The uh, trigger pull, according to the specs, is 5.5 pounds. It does not have a full length guide rod in it. So, just give you another close up. So yeah, it's a really nice gun. I'm really happy about it. I'm really excited to have my first 1911. Um, I do plan on, while well, I got the stuff for it, changing some parts on it. I got some a bunch of stuff from Wilson Combat that I plan on swapping out. So, just to make it a little more my style. So, yeah, these, well for me, this gun was pretty hard to find. I called about 15 gun shops in my area and none of them had it. So I went with one that uh, could uh, order for me at the lowest price. It took about a week to come in. I think they got it directly from SIG. So none of the distributors had it. So I'll make another video once um, uh, I get some range time with it. If you have any questions, feel free to uh, leave a comment or send me a message. Thanks.